Let's see if this is working, guys. And tell me how the audio sounds. We're going live right now. Getting ready for the Pokemon Shield. Welcome. I'm going to give everybody a chance to jump into the live stream here. Super, super excited. I just went and picked up Pokemon Sword and Shield tonight. Hey, there's everybody in the chat. Welcome to the live stream. This is going to be super exciting. You guys, tell me, how does the audio sound? What, is it the microphone that's too loud? Let me know how's the audio. Tell me in the comments, how's the audio? Is it good? Is the audio good or is the audio loud? And how is it my audio versus the game audio? What's my name, guys? I think it would be Beach Dude. Or just Beach. I think I'm going to go with Beach Dude. So you guys are saying audio sounds good? Cool. This is correct. Dude, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been waiting for this game my whole life. Welcome one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities of many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Whoa, that was a weird looking Pokemon. Thanks to help with these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us. And the sea and the sky and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to develop and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I don't really care, Rose. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now, turn your face to the gallery to his greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Exhibition or not, Leo, you your pursuit record is about to end. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, turn him
Oh, but we're flashing from each two. We're watching these exhibition match on it. You can't cheer on with your hands full. No one would probably cheer on these with these with the famous charms out pose. Oh, then we're supposed to see you here, baby. Isn't that isn't this a good day? Well, that's exactly what I came in here to get each two. Never mind, watching the match now. We've got a recording at home anyway. I will put all my brother's matches. Come with me, Beach Dude. You should be here any minute. And we always bring his presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were real. Now I've got one. See you at mine later. Wow, I'm fast. You guys have no idea how excited I am to play this. Wow, I can see the whole area. Tech speed, battle effects. I never give it names. Oh. I'm gonna think of nicknames that I never learned to put much real names. <laughs> There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon, you need to be like that. Just can't figure out the control of this very sensitive. It's super fast. <laughs> I'm just like bending over everything. Oh, come, 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 come. Rushing off the last day, Beach Dude? Didn't say it, didn't hop say you should bring your bag. I lost sight in the room, and don't forget to go out the path for the leather. The person has been there, and there's no bag. It's brand new jelly. Your mom bought it so that you could use your game console. The latest video game console is sitting by the tower. It's a simple recipe for cheap, even when you become an adult. You grab your dad's old bag. Oh, man. Hey, listen, does that look like me? Yep. Set that over. Beer in the game, I should have a beer. Open X and then I press again. So you can save your progress by saving the stand. You can also check the notification. And you can check the most adventure guide anytime you want. The key items in your bag. Thank you. You guys are so excited! Oh, I'm so freaking excited about this game. Oh, I have a fishing rod too. That's cool. Got it. Dude, I'm so excited. It's a bed we went to buy as a family. It's super comfy. It gets you to sleep instantly. Oh, I wish. Alright, lady, you know I call my mom. Oh, we're going to the retreat. I knew that bag would see you. Now hurry along. Hop is ready, is he? Now remember, no way in the forest for the two of you. It's so exciting. Going to the forest! Hop is waiting for you. Better head outside. Can you turn for a while? Thank you. 
Yeah. So I'm trying to move the camera angle, but I can't. It's automatic. For now. Aha! Uh -huh. How about you too, Beach Dude? That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's a bag of, as big as a Snorlax. What's it doing there? Hey, you silly little. I see what you're up to. Put things in tackle on the fencing. Are you missing? No. Nope. Going past that fence. No. I don't know if there are scary Pokemon living in the slumber in the world. Hey? Oh, that's thank you, Gareth. How about it, Beach Dude? What's a race? But I can make the madhouse first. Thought we'd be loving it on that big old bag. Never so sure. Never so sure. Never so sure. Never so sure. Welcome to the town of Postlick. Farming town since days of the road. People are no Pokemon living in close harmony. <laughs> yeah. That's the sound of The power of science is amazing! Now you can battle and trade with other people just by walking around. Isn't it super amazing? Hey, I need to pop us in for you now. You might need to go to the next time to find him, but we live right next door, right? So don't let me go that way. Fast! I can't believe like, how fast I am. What's up, Tyler? Hola! Mom, is he here? There you are at last, huh? Hello, oh, he's brought along beach, dude. Hello, dear. There you are, but where's the Have you got him crammed up in a cupboard? He's still not here yet, but a hundred times honestly, huh? You must learn some patience. He probably only just arrived at the station in the veg house. And that's what I'm doing. You know me as hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh really? Yes, that probably is for the best. You gotta come with me, Stu. You still never met my big girl, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I wait for you out on the route. So on the pop, you pick up the gun, won't you, Stu? I know you're gonna rely on this, sir. Oh, I'm gonna get ready for a barbecue in the garden by the time you're all back. I can store a lot of food. I'm going to go for a walk around the house. Oh my, there's people up here. That's strange. Tom shows a favorite book, so send me a card. Well, you don't these types of books. You want to so busy? It is hard to come home. But I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. Some sweet posters. Uh -huh, Aha, his brother is a superhero. Oh, that must be his brother. Oh, this trophy is going to the champion? Ah, so the champion is how to speak brother. Got it. I guess with this being such a big world, it makes sense why I don't have to run quickly. Let's get a move on! Only remember, Beach Dude, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if the Rocky Patches is called grass. I've got my ruling with me, so I don't mind if the battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Beach Dude. So we'll still clear the grass. Still, still clear of the tall grass as we go. Oh, 
Tá onde? Eu não sei se você está falando de um homem. Eu não sei se você está falando de um homem. Eu não sei se você está falando de um homem. Eu não sei se você está falando de um homem. Eu não sei se você First, your champion Leon is back. I promise I can do my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never check on battle. And come challenge me for the champion title. But on it, we've all been working on our battle skills just like you taught us to me. I bet Jared over here is too strong for likes of us, Taylor. Hmm. Team 2, the Charizard is blazing strong. The other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. So the number one fan in all the world has come out of this way to pick me up. Look at you all. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch in the program since the last time I saw you. Being the last sort of shared battle has kept you wanting to be it so long, you know And these eyes are bright eyes over here. Kind of, you must be used to them, right? I've been knows about you from my little brother. I'm the Gallery Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and that's a Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you beat you. But I could be both of you back home. That um, I was really the best, isn't it? But a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I think you all. For today, but don't you fret. I'll always be there to make sure everyone can gather in a champion time. All I can say is if I become the champion, I want that cake. That's cool, Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Beach to the new Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Pinky. Fire type Pokemon Skull Bunny. The water type Pokemon Sabo. Which one are you going to do that? I always do my grass type. Which will you choose? Come on, you can first. I've already got my wheel wheel after all. The grass I put on this way, it's swimming like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass I put on this way, is it? 
You chose Pookie. Pookie has been added to your party. So it'll be good for you. Next one. And I'll go with Sabo. You're mine. And maybe you'll be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. <laughs> but then you will be hot. That's why I brought all these Pokemon for you, each dude. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try and reach me. Oh, this is great, buddy. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes too strict, but real strong and real kind too. Alright, enough of all this training nonsense for one night. Who is ready? So I'm going to do a little Pokemon. Let's all eat. Hey, Pokemon. Welcome. Next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, will you? Pichu's made fast work with his cookie, too. But listen up, new trainers, believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday, you might even become one of the rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lou? Really? I don't know what he's going to be coming to challenge me. If he didn't get the might be able to challenge me, then I guess he's my first rival. And I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're really calling yourself a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the big that. Let's see how you handle yourself in battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? No one ready to take pop on the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. The reason you part of Pokemon is breaking up too, with all your heart. Do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. More importantly, for the champion time battle. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon trainers like, but let's do this. How's that mic sound? Is that better? Thanks, Feel Me Once, for the heads up. It looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've waited. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Thank you. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Go, Grookey. The Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. Time to fight. Ooh, I like the 
the shots they're getting in this battle. This is really cool. That split screen, <laughs> I like that. Whoa, all right, level up already. I leveled up on one battle with a level three Pokemon. Oh, I learned Branch Poke. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Oh, this will be a piece of cake. Grass attack against the water type. Did you already know about type advantages? Another level up. Sweet. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much. That kid's rich. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Grookey. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Beach Dude, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a ri real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I always want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon Gyms. You join the Gym Challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon, especially your friend Beach Dude. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps him learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is in. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Beach Dude. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably... Probably better go tell your mom that you're heading out though. They disappeared. Should I go talk to my mother or his mother? Probably my mother. Ah! Beach dude, did you hear that just now? The gate's open and the Wulu that was there. It tackled through the gate. <laughs> It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, did you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Beast dude, what, did you, what do you say? We've gotta save it, right? Even if we're not supposed to. This is the kind of scene where, simply, where you simply have to do what is needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Beach Dude. I have to say goodbye to my mom first. Slumbering Weld is over this way. Let's go find that Wooloo. All right, I guess I'm gonna go to Wooloo. Come on, Beach Dude. You can't just leave that Pokemon on its own. Dun dun dun. The Slumbering Weld. I think that's how you say that. Weald. Ooh, that Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? Fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble.
Hey! Swove it! <laughs> Swove it. That is a new Pokemon. I'm gonna beat it. Ew! Got it. I don't think I have any Pokeballs. <laughs> Doing all right there, Grookey? Let's be sure you're on in tip-top shape. There, now let's push on. I can tiptoe. Another new Pokemon. It's a Rookidy. <laughs> cool. Rook Rookidy. Like a chickadee, a Rookidy. Of course, grass type begins flying. What was I thinking? Do I have Pokeballs? Let's check. I just have three potions is all it looks like. Did you hear that? Is that a Pokemon crying out you think? Another Squovit. Hello, little Squovit. Effective. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like how it shows you the details. That's awesome. Yeah, like, always my first thing is I need to get as many Pokeballs as I can because if I ever encounter a shiny at this point in the game, I'd be so sad. <laughs> like, I would be really upset because I could not catch it. Come on, Beast Dude, that Wooloo might be in real trouble. Right behind you. Ooh, it's getting thick. Wow, that's like really thick fog. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. <gasps> what in the... What in the world? I'm gonna battle it? There's no doubt a legendary Pokemon. I think that's the shield Pokemon. The move had no effect. The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it? You can't run away for some reason. The move had no effect. Well, that's freaky. Beast dude, I can't see anything. You okay? I'm 
move has no effect. I can't see anything. This is freaky. I like it. I fell asleep. Hot beach dude. What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your, your pants with directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue that Wulu. Meh. The little chap's just fine. Though, all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come in here all the same and I can understand well enough why you did it you did good hop and at least that woo is all right yeah beach dude I thought we had it when we when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked but at least it wasn't all for nothing attacked by some mad Pokemon what are you talking about hop it seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen and it just had that so the sort of presence our moves didn't even touch it I mean really they seem to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say lived in the slumbering world? Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get a nearful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Postwick. Postwick is literally two homes. That's the town. <laughs> Mommy, Mildred, Tum Tum. Well, now isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center, maybe some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you, so don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. Tum tum! And you, Grookey, look after my little beach dude. Come home to the rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. <laughs> She gave me a lot of money. Is that what you were talking about? Fuel me once? <laughs> she gave me 30,000 bucks and five Pokeballs. Looks like your sweet cookie might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. As long as you have Pokemon at your side and the energy to carry onward, you'll naturally find that you always have a smile on your face. I can't go out the side door, I have to go out the front door. That's kind of cool that it saves automatically. Save your progress.
cool. Actually, I'm going to take a look at the town map again. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I have dreamed of a Pokemon main series Pokemon game on the handheld console, or on the home console, ever since I first played my first Pokemon game. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know, my first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Sobble a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. You wouldn't want to wake up the sleeping, sweet sleeping Wooly, right? Better take the long way around. <laughs> A Wooloo appeared! A wild Wooloo. Go, Grookey! Shall we catch it? I think so. But first, we'll poke it with a branch. Just to make it angry. Okay. Yeah! I got it! <laughs> I caught my first Pokemon. Oh dang, that was a lot of experience. Taunt. Okay, cool. Wooloo has been added to your party, but not to your Pokédex because you don't have one yet still. Rookity. Rookity. Rookity dee dee, rookity dee dee. Rookity. Oh, Taunt is a dark move, but I don't think it actually does any damage. I should be able to get away with another scratch without killing it. Make it more likely to catch. Oh, this is so fun. I love playing this on the big screen. Yeah. Rickety has been added to your party. You found a potion. Oh, what a cute little squovit! It is adorable. I have to have you on my team. You are adorable, little squirrel. I'm loving the Pokemon from this generation so far. They're so cute. Squove it! These little chubby cheeks! Oh, those evil little owl. The owl. Rookities. I don't want to battle them. Paralyzed heals. Okay, sweet. Yeah. 
I wonder if Rickety evolves into Corviknight or whatever, that bird that... I bet it is. The champion's here. I just want to go over here. Oh, okay. Cool. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has really grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go! War! I've got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow Wark. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with all these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came here to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tch. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper yelping, helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Beach Dude. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? <sighs> what does he think I am? He, uh, he's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Zerp. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, so sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so you can just so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my gran. Could you let Gran know that you received a Pokedex? She lives in the house down the down along Route 2. Cool, just like that. Rookity. Squovet. And Wulu. Leon's a right amazing champion and I'm basically just an assistant. I'm not even Grand's official assistant either. I've just been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. What is the Dynamax phenomenon? This phenomenon in which Pokemon take on gigantic forms has only been observed in the Gala region. Moreover, it only seems to occur in specific locations and under set conditions. Perhaps it's measuring something? The readings seem to be fluctuating. I like to explore. On the gigantification of Pokemon. While the general principle holds that Pokemon grow stronger and larger by evolving, it's also true that simply making oneself appear larger is another survival strategy with merit. Cool. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You 
just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Ooh, a potion. It's a potion. When you use it, use it when your Pokemon's HP, their hit points, gets low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use po potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. Ooh, secret. Ooh. A rare candy. All right. Candy that is packed with energy. That's cool. It tells me what it does. I like that. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. All around here is just quiet countryside. But we'll wait till you see the big city. It'll take your breath away. That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home down the far end of Route 2. How did you get 10 hours ahead of me, feel me once? I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab, on the opposite side is the station. Welcome to the town of Wedgehurst. Our quiet burrow is home of the esteemed Pokemon Research Lab. Welcome to the Pokemart. How may I help you? I'm here to buy. No Pokeballs? Do come again. Train has been delayed due to a rail car inspection. The world you see out the window of a train Never stops changing, isn't it lovely? Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. I used to want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grew up, but I can't think about Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way, not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got a Pokemon Centers. Lucky yet, yeah, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Wow. You're smart, feel me once. <laughs> Level with me, beach dude. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2. Beach dude, come find me. Maybe when you're done here. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Of course. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. And I have four Pokemon. Thanks for waiting, Grookey, and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Yeah, all the Pokemon. Really? Welcome to the Pokemon. May I help you? I'm here to buy. No, I want Pokeballs. 
<laughs> I only have five. <laughs> no thanks. Do come again. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free! Is it true that wild Pokemon can be scary? But once they become your allies, there's nothing more reliable. Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask away. Welcome back anytime. Greetings, trainer. What can I help you with? Check boxes. Pokemon boxes. You can keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes. You've got your own boxes on the Pokemon store system, which you can access at the Rotom information terminals. Found a Pokemon centers everywhere. You can retrieve Pokemon from your boxes at any Rotomi you visit to. Cool. We got a microphone, so they might not be able to hear you. <laughs> this month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Hmm? Do you want me to tell you your fortune too? Okay, in that case, can you tell me the month you were born? Next, I need to know what day you were born. Oh dear. Getting real specific. Got it. So your birthday is November 4th. Since you were born on November 4th, your fortune is... Let's see here. Hmm, what's the stain here? Oh, this must be from my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. <coughs> People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon, or maybe not. So anyway, see you later. What a jip. Dude, you missed a lot, Ryan. In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Berries, I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say, interested in something? Yes, I'll take uh, five of those. I'll take uh, five of those. And I'll take five of those. Thanks for stopping by. Come again. <coughs> Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Finding Pokemon. A Poke Doll. A doll that attracts the attention of Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. Cool. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Ooh, should I change my whole look? Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. If you put on, want to put on something you bought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Oh, I gotta find something real beachy. Definitely not hood. I need like board shorts. Socks. Loafers. Do they have like sandals? No sandals. Different kinds of bags, okay. Hats. Cool, glasses and gloves. Interesting. I think I'm gonna pass for now. Do feel free to use our change room whenever you'd like to. I need to find some like board shorts. Some real good beach merch.
Listen, Beach Dude, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the Gym Challenge, right? The Gym Challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the Professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keep you, keeps you motivated, right? The Professor's house is way down the road of Route 2, so let's head, that, head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. Sony and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? But what? <laughs> he won't tell me. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Something happened. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Do do do. Basics for Pokemon trainers, lesson one. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter battle. Got it, little kid. Basics for Pokemon trainers, lesson two. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon trainers, lesson three. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches, it's type the move's power increases. Oh yeah. These little kids know more than I do, and I'm like 30. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. It's so beautiful, I can't help it. Over here, Beach Dude. Alright, Beach Dude, it's time we fulfilled filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only, look at you, little beach dude. You've already caught some on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, didn't she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? Sweet! That's what I've been waiting for. A Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points when you battle. So take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked what she sees. Ooh, now I have a whole bunch of Pokeballs, so that makes me happy. I wonder if I can buy more too. So I've already caught one. Do they show do they show up as shiny if in the overworld if they are shiny, I wonder.
There's just a whole bunch of these. All these Pokemon that we're looking at right now are new Pokemon, yeah. I've never seen a Rookity until tonight. And I have a few other new Pokemon that I've caught that I've never seen before. Try to catch what? Oh, yeah, it's just part of the story. I'm always grass. Every time I play Pokemon, I always play grass type. It's just my my thing. I like Bulbasaur, and I've always gone grass after that. Okay. I'm going to get as far away from that creepy kid as I can. Whoa, there's a new Pokemon in there that I see. Oh, no. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Hi, Ryan. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him or not, but he says hello. Squove it. Squove it. I poked his hope. <laughs> Squove it fainted. Level up. Hey Ryan, I can't really see the computer screen over there. Can you read the comments? If you don't want to battle, it's important to make sure you aren't seen by other people when you're walking around. There's a new Pokemon right here. Wow! Chew tile! Oh, tootle. Tootle. I like Tootle. <laughs> He's a funny looking Pokemon. I think Charizard or Charmander was like everyone's favorite Pokemon in the first generation or like so many people love the fire type. All my friends love the fire type. I think that's part of the reason why I love grass type because it's kind of like not very many people like Bulbasaur. Choodle has been added to your party. Trainer tips. Pokemon can gain experience by battling to other Pokemon. Experience points help them grow stronger. And your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch Pokemon you're battling against. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> There's so many new Pokemon! Ah! Nickit? I love this Pokemon! Oh, that's like one of my favorites already. I'm He is adorable, and I love foxes. Nick it. I like Nick it a lot. Oh, and I love all my new little Pokemon. Squove it. Eevee is awesome. Oh, I love Nick it. It's a dark type. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail 
as if it makes off with its plunder. <laughs> that is funny. Swipe or no swiping. I was not expecting to see so many new Pokemon so early in the game. Like, I've got a... F what is that? Oh, I think that's a, a, one of the raccoon... Or the, uh... Sorry, not raccoon. This is, a uh, Yeah, the chubby face. Squovit! That's right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember their names. Squovit. My Grookey's almost gone! Uno mas pog! Ouch. I hate using items in battle, because it takes a turn. It's always my goal to finish the battle, and then I can heal. If I feel so inclined. I might just swap, swap Grookey with something else, because I don't like using items. I'm like a miser when it comes to items in, in my Pokemon games. So I might just swap him with... Let's see, level seven, level eight. Rookity. Oh, by far. Definitely feel me once. You're absolutely right. I am digging this. And so many people had a lot of bad to say. I just, I never once thought one negative thing about this game. Cute and strong together in combination. <laughs> Last Lauren. Choodle. Good, I'm glad I'm not the only one miserly with items. <laughs> Yeah, Choodle, is that what his name is? Choodle. Especially because he got that big old mouth. And a little poke on his head is so cute. <laughs> yeah. You know, they've never failed me before. I've I've been very pleased with every Pokemon game I've ever played. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a ways to go. Got 504 for winning. I love how you can see like the actual house in the background. Yeah, like like it's realistic of where we actually are. Yeah, I already have a Toodle. I don't like catching more than one unless I have to. But I'd battle him, but I'm getting low on health. Should I walk in front of this gaze, or should I sneak up behind him and attack him? I couldn't be Hop, but I'm gonna beat you! What the heck is that? I'm a bird, it's a bug, that's gonna be easy. <laughs> My favorite game, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Definitely my favorite game right now. I'm so excited to be playing this. Oh, I'm thrilled. I love how even the background, like, the house has moved. It's in a different location. It's not like the same background in every single fight. All right, let's see what Wooloo can do. I love Let's Go Eevee, but I'm stoked to be in a new, new generation.
It feels like we're really battling right out here in the street, you know? And it's not just like a cutscene to a random... <laughs> I love how he brushes his, his tracks. Watch what he does when he attacks. And then he brushes his his tracks that he leaves. Get him, Wulu! Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. You made bank for winning. Pokemon hiding in the tall grass or trainers waiting along the route. Which one you choose is up to you. I want to catch one of those little bugs. I wonder if that's a, sh a sword exclusive. Oh, I knocked out a hoot hoot. That's uh that's that's from a Gen 2. I I'll still catch him for Pokedex entry. I have played Minecraft. It's a good game. James loves Minecraft. Maybe he should do a video playing Minecraft sometime. So my goal with this game has been to get the living decks completed before Pokemon Home comes out next year. It's just called Pokemon Home. It begins to hoot at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of clocks. Sent to a box. Also, when I play new Pokemon games, I only train with and play through the storyline using new Pokemon from that generation. Yeah. So when they announced that they weren't going to do the full national decks, I was like, I don't really care because I never really play with game Pokemon from older games anyway. I didn't buy this game to play with my old Pokemon. I played it with the, to play with the new Pokemon. Wooloo learned Copycat. Toodle grew to level 8. Nicket grew to level 7. I already have one. Look! There's the professor! So you have unraveled all the secrets of the Dyna Dynamax phenomenon yet. Oh goodness, no, the whole thing is still full of questions. Oh, sorry, it's an old lady. I'd hoped my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Who's this? Oh, dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. <laughs> pip, 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 tell you who, my name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. I've got a treat and some cookies and milk for you. <laughs> and ten-year-old candy stuck in the dish. Why hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Peach Dude. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must really know about Dynamaxing, right, Beach Dude? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always taking, talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. 
like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee we should he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Beast, you'd only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. <laughs> Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. <laughs> right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Beach Dude. I like how he has a Game Freak logo on his on his uh, cloak thing. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Sorry, I gotta swap Grookey back up here if I'm gonna be taking on my rival. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you could do for your Pokemon and for yourself too. Um, lady, I was promised candy and cookies. Do you want, do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Oh, is it real? Sweet, it is real. Now remember, be sure to give it everything you've got. That's the best thing you can do. Okay, yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> she forgot, she already said that. <laughs> Oh, some little kid's bedroom. I don't think that's the grandma's bedroom. Sorry, I have to explore every nook and cranny. Ha ha ha! And it paid off. TM57, payback. The user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, the attack's power will be doubled. Did any of you guys see that already? Or am I the only one who found that so far? So where's this battle gonna take place anyway? In the garden? A great ball, sweet! That'll be for my shiny that I find randomly. Hurry it up, beach dude! You've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle. Listen, you two, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. All right, Pokemon trainer hop. See what you got, Bubba. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Puck, puck. I think it's pretty clear that I've gotten a lot stronger than you, Hop. You're so fast, you're not paying attention to leveling up along the way, young whippersnapper. I'll teach you a thing or two.
I'm gonna defeat his whole roster with just Grookey. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. I love how you can see Leon and the Granny watching us while we fight. Well, look at you. Seems you've already learned your tight matchups. Well, I learned it before you did, or else you would have picked a fire type. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing until I get tired. And then I'm gonna go to bed and pick up tomorrow morning. Ta-da! Grookey forgot Growl and learned Razor Leaf instead. Squirrel it grew to level 8. Make it grew to level 8. Oof. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Uh, here, right now, it is almost midnight. It's 11.56. Beat you to hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Um, like maybe 9 a.m.? 8 or 9? I basically I'm going to go to bed and as soon as I wake up in the morning I'm going to pick up where I left off. <laughs> so I guess it depends on how late I stay up playing. Yes! Thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, but and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Hope you've always hope you've always hop you've always tended to get caught up in the things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with the real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessed over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you really have grown up grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more battling, some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Beach Dude. All right, Beach Dude, you and me are gonna train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Beach Dude, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. A stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region, but they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. All right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Peach Dude and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we get to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering world, and now this? It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. 
You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back at, the, at ho home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Okay. Hey, thanks for tuning in, you guys. And feel me once. I really appreciate all you do. Helping out in the chat. Keeping things going and hanging out with me. Thank you. It's morning at last, and our time for adventure is truly start. Ready to truly start. Good morning, you young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Er, well, there was a weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. We should try to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Beach dude, hop, these are for you. Max is five months old now, and Jordan. You got a Dynamax band from Professor Magnolia and slipped it on your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets you out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. These, those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it not so simple as that. As all that, there are a number of conditions that you must meet if you ha hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go all to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Beach Dude. I'll beat you to the station. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. Got it. What is this? Wycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You'll be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles, and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When Y stamps arrive in Wycom while you're out on your adventure, it means that other trainers are around and looking for someone to connect with. P press the Y button to see who's around. Normally you can use Wycom to connect with people close by, but if you press the plus button and the connect to the internet, you'll be able to connect with people around the world. <laughs> Select a stamp that shows the silhouette of a Pokemon on it and you'll be able to team up with your fellow trainers to battle Pokemon. Connect to the internet. Feel me once. We need to become friends in this game so that we can battle together. Is that a thing? I think that'd be really cool. And now connected to the internet. Oh, what should I use for my profile? This one looks the most like me. <laughs> or actually, the cameraman. Should I be the cameraman? I think I should be the cameraman. No, wait. The, the swimmer. I'm going to be the swimmer. Because it's the beach dude. Right? Okay, cool. Sweet. Link trade, link battle, search stamps, X, load new stamps. Oh. Yeah, I gotta be the male swimmer because I'm the beach dude. That's cool. I like that. What is, what's going on? Oh, seeking max raid battle. Okay, cool.
So it lets me know, hey, there's other people out like looking for people to play with, I guess. One last thing before we race, Beach Dude. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about in the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow like and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Try it out and let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Beach Dude. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal, so see you there. Oh. Ah! They're attacking me! Oh, I found a rappel. Low Ted! That's uh, Gen 4, I think. I'm not sure what generation that is, at, honestly. I'm only going to be battling with the new generation, but I'll catch the old generation for the Pokedex entry. Lily pad head. See, the reason why I'm not done playing right now is because if I finish playing, I'm just gonna go straight to bed. And if I can't fall asleep, I'm not gonna bother going to bed. So I'm gonna keep playing until I'm too tired to keep playing. Its leaf grew too large for it to live on land. That's how it began to live floating in the water. Oops, I did not want to add it to my party. I want that to be my default. Send to a box. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta go check out the town map real fast. So this is a dead end here. <clears throat> Route two, dead ends. Only way to get so the next route is to take the train station, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. Oh, Zigzagoon. <gasps> and it's the Galar form. Cool. I've seen that online. Got him! Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon? I'm not sure what type he is in this game. It might be different from his first. It's a dark normal type. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon. It moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. It's a wild yamper just wandering around. I haven't caught one yet. <laughs> and it's an electric type, and I love electric type. I know, it was just wandering around. That was weird. I thought it was like, you know, sometimes there's Pokemon, like, just wandering. Like in town. I thought it was one of those. Why is Y blinking like that? Oh, just because my defense is down? I'm going to catch you, Yamper. Got him. It's easy when there's such low levels. Level up.
This gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. Oh, I have to add him to my party. He's electric type and he's so cute. Electric is my favorite type. What do I want to get rid of? Wooloo, Rickety. Oh, but he's so cute. Choodle, I have to keep Nickit. I want to keep Squovit because it's so adorable. I think Rickety turns into Corviknight, which I use later in the game for traveling and from place to place. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. That's just a message I got from some of the previews that I watched. I'm tempted to get rid of Wooloo. <laughs> ah, what the heck is he doing? Why is this one colorful? What does that mean? He had like lines on him. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't look shiny to me. Whoa. What was that? Oh, he used a move. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, why was he glowing like that? Maybe feel me once knows. Dude, I think it'd be so cool if they changed out the starters for different starters someday. Uh, I'm tempted to catch it, but I don't know why. I'm just gonna kill it. Dead. Choodle. They're just wandering around. Uh, is there a... Okay. Um... I wonder if there's a, um, like a catch bonus. You know how they, like, if you catch the same Pokemon over and over and over and over and over again? Is that a thing in this game, or is that just Pokemon, uh, let's go? It might be a let's go only kind of a thing. Look at this glowing thing. Do you see that? It means there's an item there. Revive. Is that my first revive? Seriously? I saw Hop sneaking off towards the station. Not in this game. What is this? Have I been in here? Is this just a home? Okay, that's right, I remember this guy. Come on, beach dude, you'll never be in the station at that pace. Oh yeah, well I caught more Pokemon than you, so. Also, I think I can buy Pokeballs now. Sweet. Wait. If I buy 10, do I get a... A, prim a premier ball. If I buy 20, do I get two premier balls? Aha! <laughs> Cool. I'm excited for that. I'll be chaining then. Wait, yes, actually I do want to get some revives. I'll take five. Do come again. I will. Oh, I'm digging this game. I love it. I love it so much.
So what with a bee shoot, how many did you catch? I caught a really special one, but look at how many you caught. You're well on your road to building a fine team. Ooh, thank you. He was born in June, actually. June 19th is his birthday. That's a TM. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. You gave it to me ages ago. Now it's yours. The gym challenge will, be, will begin in Motostok. And your train's waiting, so let's go! He's a big boy. Not quite so fast, you two. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming. <laughs> Since the moment you chose Sobble as a partner, darling. <laughs> Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. Bye, Emmy. Thanks for hanging out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. Set of camping gear. Sweet. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think how lucky you are, mother of the first ever pair of champion brothers, because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off. Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Beach Dude. Come on, we're off! <gasps> it's happening! <laughs> Motostok is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I can ever get tired of it. I wanted the candy trolley. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we here stopped here for? Yes, this is the Wild Area Station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! This Wild Area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. And get it! You get it, don't you, Beach Dude? It's the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Hey, have you and Eevee had a... I knew it. You've had a Let's Go experience with Eevee, haven't you? I hope you'll get another Let's Go experience with this Eevee too. Hey! hey, hey. Thanks to this, its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Nope. The Eevee I gave to you is special, you know. You should definitely Dynamax it. Hey, have you and uh, Pikachu had a... Oh, no, I think I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Because I played Let's Go Eevee and I have a save date on my, on my account. He gave me an Eevee. If I had a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, he would have given me Pikachu too. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? Nope, never heard of it. You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the further you go into the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Pokedoll. Five Pokedolls. No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join in the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. Okay, I've got 69 Pokeballs. I'm gonna buy 20 more. 
You can never have too many Pokeballs. Okay, you find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke next. <gasps> the wild area! I'm excited. Oh, it's nighttime. I wonder. Oh, oh, I can move the camera! Oh, this is exciting! You guys. I can move the camera in a Pokemon game. Hi there, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Sure. Boop. They're all happy and healthy. Good luck and take care. Look at that. That's Moto Stoke. Way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ah, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd be quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I say you wouldn't need to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and run rough it outside again. <laughs> While I'm off, to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page and the tale of my legend. What cheek, Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to make take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There will be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? A device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. You can use the Pokemon Box link to access your Pokemon boxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party or transfer Pokemon from your party to a box. With the Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild, catching as many Pokemon as you like, and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. <gasps> oh, so exciting. I'm excited. What the heck? Are those other people? Oh, an onyx! An item. A jar of honey. You found a note. Did someone drop it here? The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one, it seems like you're in over your head. Try to run. Run like the wind! There's people running all over the place. And there's items everywhere. A very strong looking onyx. Grass is strong against rock type, but I think he's still way powerful. <laughs> Oh, you got me with one hit! <laughs> oh, dang it. I'm gonna run. He said I couldn't get away. I don't think I should just throw a Pokeball at a really powerful Pokemon. I'm gonna use a uh, Pokedoll. 
so I can get away. You found a note. Did someone drop it here? Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon. Even the PP they used their moves used they need to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well with a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit Berry Trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. It's Berry Tree, do you want to shake it? Cherry Becca, Pekka, and Orin fell from the tree. Sweet. That's awesome. I like that. It's a wingo. This is cool. So it's raining and it's nighttime. Oh, I should probably go heal my other Pokemon, huh? Maybe I should make a camp. Oh, this will be a piece of cake to catch. With my 90 Pokeballs. <laughs> What the? Come on. I found a Pokeball. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to use Tackle and weaken him a little bit more. No, I'll catch it. Come on, this really shouldn't be that hard to catch. It's level 9 and it's almost dead. That's what I thought. It soars on updrafts without flapping its wings. It makes a nest on sheer cliffs at the ed sea's edge. I just set up Pokemon camp. I think. Pokemon Camp. In your Pokemon Camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer together through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your, your system, you can wave one around to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve, or wave a Poke Toy for their delight. If you waggle that Poke Toy, you might even entice Pokemon hanging out further back in your camp to come play. When you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before. So get to know them as you play together. Cook up a fine curry while out camping by selecting ingredients and berries of, of your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries. As you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough and stir things up with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't get overboard, you don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul into it at just the right timing and you'll have made a masterpiece for your Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it'll be time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a number of effects on Pokemon that are at your camp. 
Including restoring their HP, making them feel more friendly toward you. Start cooking. Please select a berry. Two orange berries. Two cherry berries. And two peck berries. Ready. So I'm pressing A, or I can swing the Joy-Cons up and down, and it seems to be working. R. There we go. <laughs> stir, 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 stir. That's really fast. It's faster if I move the Joy-Con than if I push the button, I think. Put your heart into it. Mmm, that looks tasty. It's kind of like Breath of the Wild. What's the nasty thing in Breath of the Wild that if you make the wrong thing it turns out gross? Spicy curry. Oh, now I'm getting hungry. <gasps> ah, that's so good. I'm really hungry. Who wants... Taste rating, Wobbuffet class. Pokemon's HP was restored by half. Your Pokemon gained a few experience. Yeah, but the rest of your party got friendly toward you. What's this? It doesn't seem like I can move around once I'm in the camp. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> He's attacking me. Just swinging the pokey toy. Ow! She just keeps attacking me. Yeah. Go get it! Good boy, Grookey. Good boy! Go get it! Too far? Sorry. Oh, he did go get it. Good job, Grookey! Looks like those are the only toys I have. What a happy little guy. Alright, I think I'm done camping. I want to see... Your Pokemon enjoyed camping and gained experience. Sweet. Did that regenerate my Pokemon's health? Grookey's revived. That was nice. Pokemon dens. The pillar of red light you see in the wild area mark Pokemon dens. Dynamic Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own or get up to three other players to help you out. There's a bit of energy trickling out of the den. You gain 50 W. Oh, I don't know what that means. Konbanwa. Isn't there anyone who wants to come join me for a max raid battle? All the people would let me let me know on Ycom. I'd have them join me in a heartbeat. Good evening. I found this three days ago, but I'll give it to you. A pack of potatoes. Oh, hey, Jordan. I didn't know you were here. 
One of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking at your camp, potatoes can help mellow out a spicy taste to make a dish more mild. Though use caution, you know, it is at least three days old after all. I did not expect to see random people wandering around the world. Oh look, this is somebody else's Pokemon camp. Would you like to visit their Pokemon camp? Oh, my bad. You can't. There's already too many other people visiting his Pokemon camp. Oh, here's a random dude. Love to cook? You've come to the right place. I've got the finest ingredients right here. Bread, pasta, sausages, interesting. I'll take one of everything, two of everything. I think this is for curry, maybe? It says one of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking at your camp. When simmered, the beans suffuse a dish with their mild flour flavor. One of the many ingredients that can be used for cooking the tin food that Bach sells is curiously popular in Galar. Give us another visit tomorrow. I don't know. I fished up something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Want my brilliant find for a brilliant bargain of just 100 W? w is sure. Well, that was a brilliant choice you just made. Here you are, as promised. A big pearl. That's worth a lot of money. <laughs> you found a note. Did someone drop it here? Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area. And if you press the right stick, you'll find you can see a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. <gasps> Ooh, I like that. I definitely like the wider view. Who's this? Oh, it's a person. I was like, who the heck? Good evening. A wild Pokemon was holding this when I caught it. Take it. Bottle of spice mix. One of the main ingredients that can be used for cooking at your camp. There are over 50 spices contained. I think that's another player. Do you think Pokemon like these things too? I think it's just another player, but I think that the game kind of gives them text. If that makes sense. It's, it's a Padov. It's just from a different generation. I'll, I'll catch it for the gen for the dex entry. Oh, that's why it's raining so bad. <laughs> of course it's raining, it's England. Pokeball, go! Pidove was cut. <laughs> it's forgetful and not very bright, but many trainers love it anyway for its friendliness and sincerity. Oh, whoa, a Butterfree. I probably could have. The bun will be. That's from an earlier gen as well. I bet, I bet most of the Pokemon in the wild area are going to be from different generations. 
and most of the Pokemon in like the main storyline of the game are gonna be from Gen 8. Ooh, all right. That's gonna be a piece of cake to catch. Come to Papa. Bunnelby, you're gonna make a great curry. I love cooking barbecue bunny in my curry. <laughs> barbecue Bunnelby. <laughs> it's very sensitive to danger. The sound of Corviknight's flapping will have Bunnelby digging a hole to hide underground in moments. What's that? <gasps> oh, Metapod. I'll take it. <laughs> He's got high defense. This shouldn't kill him. Yeah. That's going to be his only attack. His hard... Alright, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball now. See if I can catch him. Got him! That gave me decent experience. Probably because he's a. Uh um, evolved Pokemon. Even though it's encased in a sturdy shell, the body inside is tender. C it can't withstand a harsh attack. Nah. I don't know, but this is glowing red. I want to check it out. The energy is pouring out of the den. You gained 300 W. What is this? Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance at catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain in, by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. Invite others. Searching. I wonder if it sends invites to someone specifically, like on people on my friends list, or if it just gives other people a chance to join me that are like wandering around in the wild. I don't think they're gonna appear. Good evening. Is there anyone who wants to join me in the max raid? Okay, maybe she is here. Maybe? I wonder if it would let me join her or, or she can join me. I don't know. This is my first time. Is that, is that little image supposed to be like a symbol of what the Pokemon looks like? Cause I don't recognize that cutout. Hmm. Oh look! I'm gonna catch this Pokemon. A ninjas. So if I just sit in the wait, if I just sit in that waiting room, basically the game will give me some other people to battle with. If I just wait long enough, that's what it sounds like.
Oh, that's cool. If the Pokemon is not holding an item, it will fetch the Pokeball from the first failed throw of the battle. I like that. That's cool. So I'm attacking a bug type, so I'm going to attack it with a flying attack. See if that'll help do more damage. This is actually a high level. It's level 15. Super effective, but it's just such a high level. I want it. His speed keeps going up, his defense keeps going up. Fainted. I'm gonna use an electric attack on it. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug flying type. I'm not sure what type he is. Let's just see what I get. The Emperor has a heart on his butt. It is super effective, but it barely did anything. Dang. It's paralyzed. Come on. Get in my Pokeball! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I'll keep tacking him, I guess. It's a super effective attack, but I'm level 9, he's level 15. And his defense is all the way boosted. Maybe if I can get him into the yellow, I'll have a higher rate of catching him. It's just game, it's just a game capture, an audio capture. There we go, now he's mine. Oh my goodness. Wow. I almost caught him before when his health was higher. Hey, Violet. Welcome to the live stream. All right, Grookey. Do your worst. I'm just gonna keep whittling him down. Man, this guy's a pain. Jeez, I keep wasting all my Pokeballs on this guy. It's not even that cool of a Pokemon. 
<laughs> and he's killing all my Pokemon. I'm just not a high enough power to... I need to do more damage. He just keeps trying to boost his speed, but it doesn't do anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep weakening him. I'll catch him in one throw once he's into the red. There we go. Now he's mine. No! <laughs> what a jerk! Don't you want to be my partner? Don't you want to be my friend? I promise to take good care of you. We'll be best friends. We'll go on adventures together. <laughs> I thought I had him that time. Alright, one more hit. I'm just worried about doing a critical hit and then killing him. I mean, I've thrown 20 balls at him. He yeah! I got him. Ugh. <sighs> Finally! A lot of leveling up, that's good. But I have a lot of dead Pokemon too. <laughs> this Pokemon is so quick, it's said to be able to avoid any attack. It loves to feed on tree sap. Okay, let's talk to this person. I put him in the box. I fished up something brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I'll take it. Two big pearls. Sweet. Those things are worth a lot. Is it? I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up camp to revive my Pokemon. Where's all my other Pokemon that are dead? Right, but they're supposed to revive when I open up camp. I'm gonna try cooking. Uh, I think that's kind of what they're going for. How do I move from right and left? I want to get to. I want to go to my berries. I don't know how to get back to my berries. It won't let me go up. When I go left and right, it doesn't do anything. ZR asks if I want to add it. R just goes to the top or to the bottom. I can't get back to my berries. Maybe I won't kick. <laughs> Are my Pokemon revived? Is that all it takes? They're still fainted.
It's cool I could talk to random people. Buenas noches. Yeah. There's different there's different colors. I wonder what the different colors mean. Or the some diff I wonder if some are harder than others. <coughs> like here's here's an orange. It's Pelipper, yeah. I'm visiting someone else's Pokemon camp. <laughs> I don't think I can steal their stuff. Oh, there's four of us here all hanging out. Oh, they're all doing curries together. Oh, hello, Meow. Looks like the camp is gone. Whoever's camp I joined left. Well, at least it said that they left. Yeah, it left. I don't have that in this game, though, but, um... Yeah. Good evening. Tyrog Squovet Oh actually I don't think this is enough I don't think this is strong against him It's not very effective Yeah whoops Stuffed cheeks what's this <laughs> I like that that's fun Focus energy. Just perfect. So, so the different colors, some, some are harder than others. <laughs> the beams of light. Even though it is small, it can't be ignored because it will slug any handy target without warning. I'm really lost. Is there a map for this area? Okay, all right. So there's a map for the area, and that's telling me where I am. I'm in the rolling fields. Dappled Grove. Giant seat. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder if each of the different areas is more, like, more powerful Pokemon. You know? I found something amazing just now. I think I'll give it to you. Bag of salad mix. <laughs> Sweet. It's amazing. You better take proper care of it and not lose it. But I don't think they actually gave it to me. I think the game gave it to me. You know what I mean? I'm sure people have walked up and talked to me and I've given them stuff un unintentionally. Oh, dang. <laughs> I'm getting wasted out here.
Oh, that's interesting. I'll do quick attack. Okay, let's try beat up. What does that do? Holy moly, I'm not that much of a lower level. Like, I know he's level 15, but... I'm level 11. It's, it's making me think about it. I'm just gonna see if I can get lucky. Nope. I'm dead. Oh man. I don't want to faint. I know. <laughs> Okay, um... I could revive... I could re revive Grookey. I didn't want to do that, but... You know what? I'm just gonna run away from this one. He's not shiny or fancy or nothing. I need to heal my Pokemon. It's an item. A TM. Cool. I like that. Tons of people are doing max raid battles. I gotta go get healed up. bottle of spice mix it's worth talking to people they give you good items <laughs> I'm gonna head back and get healed though better I was getting stressed oh. yeah check it out The difference between sword and shield is some Pokemon appear in sword. Uh, some po Pokemon appear in sword and some different Pokemon appear in shield. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. A bag of stardust. I'm going to try to battle this one because I know it's a Weedle. <laughs> weedle, 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 weedle. I'm ready to battle. <laughs> That's my favorite. Weedle, 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 weedle. Start a battle. <laughs> I think this will work. I'm excited to try this. This is gonna be great. 
Dynamax Energy. Dynamax! It's interesting that when I Dynamax, I throw the Pokemon behind me instead of in front of me. That ain't no Pokemon. That's like a Monster Mon. Oh no, I just realized something. I think I'm the only one that's allowed to Dynamax in a battle. And so all the other Pokemon cannot Dynamax while I'm Dynamax. And I probably wasn't the best one to choose Dynamax. I should have let somebody else do it. Yeah, these are other people that are actually online, I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not string shot. Thanks for the heads up to save. I have not been saving. I guess I just figured the auto saves were good. And I figured I would save when I was done playing it after that. We're gonna take this guy out, no problemo. He's still a Caterpie after all. Defeated! Yeah. Um, two and a half hours into the game. Uh, I heard the main storyline is like 50 or 60 hours. Oh, I died! My Grookey faded! Dang. Do I get to send out another Pokemon? Maybe I don't get to send out another Pokemon. Good thing I've got a great team. Throw a Pokeball now. Catch. Use. All of us. Come to daddy. It's the Death Star Pokeball. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him! Experience candies, ball mushroom, leech life. These are items? Interesting. Items. Cool. A short feeder. Tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Caterpie's been sent to your box. What level is he? Huh? Honey, big pearl. Candida is packed with energy. When consumed, it will raise the Dynamax level of single Pokemon by one. Interesting. Cool. Uh, 
Wonder if there's like a easy way to use the Pokemon box link. All right, there we go. There's my box. Caterpie was level 19. Holy moly. Well, did you see the size of him? <laughs> That's true. He was a high high. If I evolve if I leveled up my Caterpie twice, he'd be a, a level 21 Butterfree. That'd be nice. It didn't seem like my team got very many experience from that, though. Save. Save your progress. Yeah. I went to the midnight release, I brought it home, and I've been playing ever since. Yeah. Oh, a hunter! He might be a high level, I just realized. Oh no, it's a very strong looking hunter! <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna use my Poké Doll. Bye, hunter. Oh yeah, I was dead. It, it, it would say you can't run. There's like a billion wingle out. I like how these guys just give me stuff. Well, there's a lot of people playing all around the world right now because it's daytime on the other side of the world. So it's midnight here, but everywhere else it's like normal. I think I want to do it. It's an Ursula. I think I want to take on another battle. This is fun. I like how it finds people for you. Hoot hoot! <laughs> it's not grunky. I'm going to let somebody else... Yeah, I'm gonna let somebody else uh, level up, or... Maybe... Maybe they can't Dynamax. He attacked me! Am I the only one? These are just computers with random Pokemon? Oh, I can't Dynamax. Do I have to like wait for my Dynamax to power up again? I was hoping that Jolteon would Dynamax. It's an electric type against a flying type. That would be the smartest thing. But uh, maybe they can't. The Halucha is a good one because it's a fighting type. Yes! I don't know if anybody is, is going to Dynamax. I'm just glad they're not attacking me all the time. Got it. 
That wasn't as bad as the Caterpie. The Caterpie was way harder. I felt like. And I was even Dynamaxed. This catch sequence takes so long. Is it even possible to not catch a Pokemon? You know? I don't know. <laughs> you guys should be the ones doing the commentary for this, not me. <laughs> you, you guys are way more co comedic. It's it's a uh, really cute Pokemon, cool. Stuffle. Oh, okay. oh, it's not a high level. I can handle this. Baby doll eyes. Oh. oh now I can't attack. Ooh, perfect, a critical hit. Your mind, Steffel. It's basically like a stuffed animal toy. Got him. Cutle. Cuticle. Finally, level up, you evil Pokemon. I always get rid of the status condition attacks first. They're so weak. The way it protects itself by by flailing its arms may be an adorable sight, but stay well away. This is flailing can snap thick tree trunks. Wow. Not true. That oh, it's a Pancham. Here we go. Circle throw. Howie. Squove it. Oh, squove it. I fell for the taunt. Tackle. Tackle. It's good too because I'm getting to be a higher level, so level 14 isn't too unthinkable. Stop smacking me. Taunt. What does Taunt do again? I can't remember. Maybe. It doesn't seem to be having any effect. Got him! That's okay. I'm planning on attacking anyway. Yes, level up. Wanting to make sure it's taken seriously, Pancham's always giving others a glare. But if it's not focusing, it ends up smiling. Uh, 
This is billions of stuffles. I love how everybody just gives me stuff. A pack of fried food. If you see shadows in the water, you'll likely find Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line and try to catch fish. Yeah. Try to fish up a catch. If your fishing rod shakes, press the A button once more to reel in a Pokemon. Try fishing whenever you spot these shadows. <laughs> Ooh! Carp! 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 Ninja Carp! An electric attack. This will be perfect. Super effective. Now he's paralyzed. You're mine, Magikarp. <laughs> Here we go. I'm on a roll. I was actually expecting more variety, but maybe it's just because I'm a low level. I don't know. This weak and pathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are strong currents. I did. There's an item. Revive. Sweet. This oh, is a note. Well, there is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. You'll also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Because we're newbies. Goldeen! Goldeen evolves into Seeking. That's because it's basically a Magikarp, it's worthless. That was a critical hit, that's why it did so much. Nope, just catch it. I'm glad I got so many Pokeballs. I wasn't sure how many organs I was actually going to need, so I'm glad I got a ton. What time is it? Is it 1.30? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I'm going to probably go to bed soon. Storsal and pectoral fins are strongly developed like muscles that can swim at feed speed up five knots. Oops, I did not mean to do that. That golf course has pretty good 
A bag of pasta. Pungent root. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of ingredients. That means there's like a billion different things you can make with curry. Bag of pre-cooked burger. <laughs> That's funny. Basically, I just go around talking to people and they give me tons of things. A loaf of bread. West. It's snowing over here. I might catch a ice type Pokemon over here. There's two. There's there's a new Pokemon. Snow run. Snow run. What's level is it? Oh, only a level eleven. That's not too bad. I wonder if the Pokemon in the fields level up ab about the same level pace as I do. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud because it seems like they're all really low level. <laughs> this poor snow rock, they just always look so cold. <laughs> Dang it, he just keeps healing because of the hail. Or the snow, or whatever. Oh, no. Yamper dead! Oh, yeah, fire attack would be really helpful right now. It's dark. Water. Dark, dark. Dang, all these guys are dark dark types. I really should diversify a little bit. Beat up. That's not too bad. Alright, you're mine. Maybe not. <laughs> Got him. Snow runt is mine. Kind of level up out of it. It can only survive in cold areas. It bounces happily around, even in environments as cold as negative 150 degrees. He doesn't look happy. He looks freezing. Temple. This should be an easy one. <laughs> Tempted to throw a Pokeball right now. Because I don't want to kill it. <laughs> it 
This one actually evolves into a pretty powerful Pokemon. It reminds me of uh, Poliwag. It uses sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can can't hear its cries of warning. The diggers be. It'll kill me if I attack it, I think. It's a good uh, ice type. It's ice cream cone! <laughs> he looks, makes me look hungry. <laughs> I'm just gonna poke it with my beak. Ooh, mm, yeah, actually, that's really good. Has a vanilla flavor to it. That'd be funny if a shiny version was white and y pink and brown, like Neapolitan. <laughs> Vanilla or something? Vanilla. I think so. Well, I, don't, I don't want it then. I don't like light ice cream. I don't want the big stuff. Like, Supposedly, this Pokemon was born from an icicle. It spews out freezing air at negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit to make itself more comfortable. Water ground type. Uh, ready to beetle. Start beetle. <laughs> what is it? Oh, <laughs> 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 I thought Grookey was dead. I can Dynamax. I'm just gonna Razor Leaf for the first time and see what happens. Oh, snap! I think he's a ground water type, is that what it said? And I'm a grass type, which is super effective against Oh snap Oh no that leaves only three of us left There's a Snorlax in our team though Nice job Snorlax Uno más. I own you. <laughs> Go Death Star Pokeball. If the poke if the Death Star was actually really a Pokeball and we didn't even know it this whole time. The Death Star does look like a Pokeball. <laughs> I think I'm actually getting TMs. What? 
It's just capturing the planet. When walking on land, it covers its body with a poisonous film that keeps the skin from dehydrating. Yeah, it's a, it's a salamander. Pee-pee. Ah. Pee-pee. 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 Pee
Turby. <laughs> so what what happens? Do I lose all the berries? Did I wiggle it too much? Now I don't get the berries. I still hope I get the bear the berries. <laughs> can I can I eat this Pokemon? That's the real question. Catch it. Catch it. Got it. But I want the berries. I still want the berries to go with it. The deeper a cherubi is red, the more nutrients it has stockpiled in its body, and the sweeter, the tastier its small ball. Oh, other Pokemon nearby took all those citrus berries. That's why it was like, if you keep going too far. Oh, I can go inside. Maybe? Doesn't seem to be anything in the den. I don't want to catch any more Pokemon anymore. I just want to get out of this area. All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave this wild area and go to the next story I'm gonna progress in the story take a break I played around in here for a long time and I think I'm ready to move on <laughs> okay I'm gonna go up here because I think that's where I'm supposed to go next oh wait I want to talk to these guys first spend my watts Quick ball. Oh, those are TMs. TR? What's a TR? Interesting. Quick ball. I'm going to buy quick balls. I'm going to have a first step in the world of camping. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. If you've got any questions about camping, feel free to ask me. Write my curry decks. So. Cool. Time to head off to the next area, folks. Find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke. I think I'm done. I think that's it. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm going to go live at Motostoke and pick up where we left off on our Pokemon adventure around the world of Galar. So to everyone that hung out with me tonight in the live stream, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially to Fuel Me Once, the moderator, for helping me out in the comment section. I'm going to save it right here. I just saved. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great night. And I'll be back in about uh, probably nine hours once I get some good sleep. So we'll see you guys. Pause the game. <laughs>